Well, hello and welcome back, everybody. Um, sorry if I sound weird. I'm under the weather. Again, it's awesome. Hey, buddy. Dog's here, too. So as you can see, we have the 460 behind me. Um, we'll do a little walk around about that. And uh, I think today's the video. She's finally going to go in. So let's take a gander here. So as you can see, this is it. She's pretty well assembled. There still are things I need to get off of that engine. Uh, I need to torque this down, put that on. Um, the pulley is peeps is on the front. Um, I do think, <clears throat> one thing I'm going to wait to do, I think, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to pull this distributor back out, throw the one in that one in. That one looks like it has a lot more newer parts. And I think, if I remember right, the reluctor wheel in here and everything, yeah, she just doesn't look that hot. Point the... the the, uh, I can't think of the right word. That guy doesn't look too bad, but he's definitely corroded. But like the reluctor wheel and everything down there. I don't know how well that's all going to work. And there's just a decent amount of rust. I actually don't even know if the uh, advance would work or not. But she might be locked up there. So, <clears throat> I do think once I get in the truck, I'm probably going to swap that stuff around. Which actually will probably be tomorrow for you guys. I don't really know if I feel like doing it today. Um, like I said, I got a few little things to tidy up on it first, and then she's done. Now, I did say that I was going to prime the oil system. Well, I learned after doing more research into that, it's not as simple as I thought it was going to be. So I'm probably not. I'm probably just going to run a wing it, hope for the best. Um, theoretically, everything should work, but uh, time will tell. So, yeah, the old girl's about there. The colors are actually growing on me. I kind of wish I would have painted something with the water pump as well, but I didn't, so it's okay. It'll all be, it'll, in the end, it'll all work out. Or if it doesn't, then I guess it's not the end. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll probably tidy this up. And then you guys will probably watch me struggle to get it out the door because there's a three inch lip right outside that garage door. And uh, it's fun. It took me probably 15, 20 minutes to get that engine in, so. Then once this thing's in, probably won't try to make it run this video. Probably just make sure she cranks, builds oil pressure, and then maybe in next video I'll try to do something with getting this thing actually started. But uh, we'll see how the timeline goes. Um, hopefully everything pops into place and this is a short video. But real-time me knows that's not how these things always work for me. So I guess let's get at her.
Well, I'm not going to sit here and say this was my uh, greatest engine install ever. Definitely wasn't. I fought a few extra things I didn't expect, such as the uh, dipstick kept trying to get stuck underneath there with the... Uh, yeah, words are not in my vocabulary. I got nothing right now in my vocabulary. Engine mount, that's the one. Um, and then once I had that side finally in, I wasn't realizing this was hitting the hood, which wasn't allowing me to twist enough to get this side in. Oddly enough, once I got the transmission lined up, it really didn't fight too bad at all. Um, so I got to bolt it on, put the engine mounts in, hook up exhaust. I don't really need to hook up the exhaust to fish to say it's in, but uh, that'll probably be it for this one. This is a big step in the right direction to hopefully get this thing running soon. Um, pretty sure we'll pick this right back up on the next one. Not too far off from where I am now. Um, I'm probably going to try to make this thing run without the front end on, without accessories on without anything really more than I need. I'm gonna hook up electronics, carb, intake. Um, I don't know about fuel lines yet. I'll at least have the lines on. I don't know if they'll be hooked into the carb or not. So then I can figure out if fuel pumps work, if the switch works for tanks, and uh, what else in the fuel system might be wrong. So now it's basically gonna be diagnose what all is wrong with the actual truck itself, whether it's uh, ignition, fuel, pretty much it. <laughs> figure out what isn't working where. So. I'd like to say next video is getting it running, but it might be diagnosing an electrical issue or a fuel issue. I won't know until I get in there, but uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry, this video is weird, <laughs> but the engine's in. That's what really matters. So till the next one, thanks for watching.